Michael Brown here. Today I'm going to discuss the use of this VR headset, the Oculus Quest 2, and how 3D enthusiasts can use it to view stereoscopic imagery, VR imagery that can be uh, 180 degree 3D VR, VR 180, or it can be 360 degree 3D imagery or 360 degree um, no depth imagery, but you know, very immersive. All right, so to begin, I was gifted recently this Oculus Quest 2 headset, and part of the gift also included this uh, upgraded accessory strap. And there's a little wheel on back to loosen or tighten the head strap. So I'll be able to put this unit on, and I can use the uh, hand controllers. There's one for the left hand and one for the right hand, and I can navigate the system with that. Now, if all goes well, what I see inside this headset, I'll be able to record and share on this video to give you a little better idea of how this works. I have to just come right out and say, this thing is incredible. Uh, it's like having your own IMAX theater. I viewed 360 degree images where I can you know, turn all the way around and see what's behind me, look up, look down. I loaded some images onto this from my drone. I have a DJI Maverick Air drone, and that drone has a mode where you can fly it, and it will take a series of pictures, you know, straight ahead, and then from different angular directions, and down and up, and it will actually create a spherical image. And when I load the spherical image in the headset, I can stand up and I can look in any direction and see this aerial view, and it's just simply an incredible experience. Now, most people know I make lenticular imagery, which is auto stereoscopic, and you can view a print and see it in 3D without using any glass or special viewing devices. Well, my lenticular pictures are generally comprised of a series of still photographs, you know, let's say uh, between 10 and 70 photographs. Well, I can take any two of those images and make a stereo pair. And of course, a stereo pair can be viewed through a stereoscope or you can make uh, anaglyph prints. You know, there's a variety of ways of viewing stereo pairs. Well, you can also view stereo pairs in this device using a third-party app, which I'm going to uh, show you through the video. And I have a, a number of rigs I've used over the years. This, for example, is a Fuji W3 camera and I have this little accessory on it that lets me put lens shades on and also has a hot shoe for flash. So a camera like this I can make a stereo pairs and the camera will save them out in a MPO format. I think that's multi-picture object. The Oculus with this app can just take those MPO files and display them perfectly and I think you'll see when I use it that it gives all sorts of uh, options for viewing the images. It, it's a, a very, very immersive experience. So with that, I think I won't uh, continue to babble. Let's actually look at this thing. So I'm going to take my glasses off. I don't need them with this Quest. I'm going to put that on and then I'm going to turn on the unit by pressing this button and holding it until the little green light illuminates. And now I will adjust my position and I will tighten the head strap. Everything's still a little new to me. I'm not perfect at navigating here, but uh, this one comes when you first set it up, which I really love too. It's called the Desert Terrace. And so you're probably seeing just a small window of what I'm seeing, and you're seeing it in two dimensions, but for me, this is in just glorious 3D, and it's just incredible. And the lighting's wonderful. That little ceiling fan's going. I can look up. There's hot air balloons drifting by. These palm leaves will blow gently in the breeze. So it, it's quite, quite incredible. So the uh, Oculus has a store, and in the store you can buy different apps. Now this is where it gets interesting. Uh, for 3D. I actually found an app, and I'm just going to put it in here, P, 
Here it is. Pegasus Media Player. Now, I've already purchased it. It was $5.99, but it's just incredible. Uh, it's just an incredible application. It was money well spent. For basically $6, I now have this app that lets me view all my 3D imagery, which is incredible. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select the apps. And you can see I have a variety of my apps loaded on this screen. So this YouTube VR is terrific. It lets me view all sorts of content in 3D, uh, 180 degree 3D videos, 360 degree 3D videos, 360 degree non 3D videos. Pegasus is what I use to view my stereo pairs and some of my VR photography. And then big screen is really cool. It's like a movie theater where you can rent 3D movies or you can view, you know, television shows and virtual theaters. It's actually quite incredible. But let's begin with Pegasus because that is what makes this whole thing worthwhile for me. So here you can see the icons for different folders. And I've uh, attached my headset to my computer with the uh, USB-C cable, and I was able to take images off my computer and load them right up on the headset. Now I understand there are different ways of doing that in a wireless manner, but I don't have that set up. With my Mac, I just wanted to get started quickly, and I thought the easiest thing would be just to plug the headset into the computer. So I did that, and I made some different folders. It, it comes with a variety of predefined folders like this DCIM and pictures and so forth, but I made one called MPOs. And I also some downloaded some images from my computer. So just to begin with, I took some of my stereo pairs and made side-by-side -side images. I'll just click on one. And now I see it in 3D, and it's just incredibly deep. Now I'm going to take the little pointer here. I'm going to hit the resize screen option. And using the thumb control on the remote, I can make this picture smaller or larger. So, you know, you can pick a size you like. But what I find is, if I make it as big as possible, it just becomes incredibly immersive. The image is now wider than my field of view. So it gives me this kind of look around effect. And it's, it's just wild. I have never seen my images in this way. Uh, I view them often on a 3D TV with polarized glasses, and that's really terrific. It's a good way for sharing, but this lets me view them so large, it's just amazing. So this was a side-by-side -side stereo pair. Now I'm gonna go back to the media folder, and I'm gonna pick uh, MPO. So now these are just different MPOs I've made. This particular one uh, was made from uh, two sequential images from a drone. So it shows the neighborhood where I live, and then I can either advance here or I can take the thumb control and just jog to the right. But in this case, I'll just advance through some of these. So here's some various Disney 3D pictures. So you can see I have a variety of MPO files and they just play back perfectly on this. Oh, I like this. So I can look around and <laughs> see these. It's really, it's just an incredible way to view images. All right, so I'm actually going to leave that. So I'm hitting a button on the remote controller and I'm going to quit Pegasus. And I'm gonna come over here to YouTube VR. Now what I like doing here is actually coming up to the search and using the keyboard and just typing in VR 180 and then you know searching on VR 180 videos. Now to make it a little more interesting, at least interesting for me, I'm going to put in Disney. So I'm going to say look for VR 180 videos that have to do with Disney. Now VR 180, it's three-dimensional and you have, you know, half of the 360 sphere to view at, basically what's in front of you, but you don't look behind you. So if, for example, I don't know, 
I'll just pick any one. I'll pick this monorail. Go on, mix it up a little. Get two medium two topping pizzas from Domino's. Typical YouTube. And now here we are. And now I can look around from one side to the other in 3D. Now, of course, on your screen, you're going to see it in 2D. But so many people have these VR cameras that there's just all sorts of content online to view. So I'm going to cancel this. Quit YouTube VR. Now, so besides the VR 180, you can see 360 images in 3D. You can see, you know, regular videos. They will just appear on a, a large projection screen. And maybe I should show what that looks like. But I'll, I'll use this big screen app. Because this will give you the idea of the theater view. So this is kind of a crazy app. Besides viewing your images, people can pop in and out of the theater and you see their avatars, which is actually a pretty wild experience. Sometimes a little unnerving. Someone you don't know comes and sits right next to you. All right, so I'm going to scroll down here. You can see there's different choices. There's also 3D movies that can be rented. So there's, you know, Top Gun, World War Z. I'll just scroll through here. You can see some of the options. Hugo, that's a good one. That's one I own on Blu-ray. And then TV channels. So just for kicks, I'm going to grab Star Trek. And I'm going to go into that theater. Movie theater. And I guess currently I'm the only one in here. I can't find anything unusual in any of the tricorder readings they sent over, Captain. Give me theory, doctor. Anything. All right, so we'll leave this theater. I'm already listing several biomechanical texts, doctor. Yes, of course. You're next, Lieutenant. So using big screen, you can view 2D or 3D movies. Let's quit big screen. So besides... 3D. I want to go back to Pegasus. And I want to go back to my headset. I think I have them in my downloads. Nope. Where did I put them? Here we go. So these are different 360 images I made, some with the Ricoh Theta and some with a drone. The fun one I'm looking for, oh, there it is. Here we are over Chicago. So if I look straight down, I see Buckingham Fountain. Right now I'm looking northwest. I'm turning. This is looking north from Grant Park. And now I should say I had a permit to do, the, do this and fly downtown and capture this image. I made this, I think, in 2018. And then here we look out over the lake and back at the Adler Planetarium. Now this is not in 3D. This is two-dimensional, but it's just so immersive and so wonderful. I just, you know, I just love it. And then if I scroll up here, pick this one. So this is from my yard in winter. There's my home. Here I can look off in the distance in different directions. There's the pond, partially open, partially frozen. So I, I just find this in Incredible. The drone flies up about 400 feet, and I put it in the mode to capture a spherical image. It captures a number of pictures. I don't remember how many. I think more than a dozen. And then it stitches them all in the drone, and by the time you land, you have your 360 picture. So, pretty cool thing. All right, so we have talked about uh, viewing 
3D pictures from the Fuji, viewing side-by-side -side pairs, viewing 360 images. You can view all your own content with this Pegasus application. And then if you want to use um, the YouTube VR, you can view all sorts of 3D content. There's a lot of VR 180, which is you know, one of my favorite. And then big screen will let you view either 2D TVs or movies, or you can rent 3D movies. Uh, Wander is interesting. I won't demo it, but it uses Google Street View, and basically you can be down at street level and navigate through Street View with the headset, which is kind of cool. Good. Close all. This is what I'm looking for. So in the browser mode, there are quick links to the Oculus site, to Facebook, to Instagram, YouTube, and so forth. I forgot about Facebook. So I had heard months ago that on Facebook you can view Facebook 3D photos uh, in 3D where normally you just see them move from side to side. So let's see if we can find one. I will say 3D search And there's virtual 3D con, but right here, Facebook 3D photos. So I'm going to click that. Here's the banner. Let's scroll down. Find one. All right. So here's one of these French fries. Here's one of this. Dog. Now, over here you can see there's a mode that says Enter VR. If I click that, now it takes that picture, uses the depth map, and makes it 3D. So this is really cool. Now, I have to admit, I'm not really a fan of these 2D pictures with a depth map to create 3D. I can see this in 3D, but I can also see the errors of the depth map. Uh, my personal feeling is I like true, uh, you know, stereoscopic or multi-frame photography. The 2D plus Z doesn't do much for me, but if you like it, you know, you can view them in that way with the headset. Let's see how this one looks. Enter VR. Here it is. So that actually looks pretty cool. But as I move around, you know, you can see the depth map errors. Probably if I get centered on this, well, no. Over here, you can, you can see there are issues with this. So you, you see it in 3D, but it's this fake 3D, which I'm not a fan of. So now you've had a short demo of the Oculus Quest 2. I hope you enjoyed it. I find this thing to be just a fantastic device. I love looking at my 3D images in the unit. I love going to YouTube VR and seeing VR 180 in 3D. I find that incredible. And I love some of the professionally made content. The ability to go up, up on the ISS, the ability to watch the, you know, CNN specials in 3D. There's just so much 3D content. I watched a Elton John concert in 3D. It was just incredible. There's so much material out there that I never really had access to to view in 3D, and now this Quest makes viewing that possible. So it's a lot of fun. Highly recommended. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.